As the 6.36 leaves the city each night, the regulars relax. On their 90 minute journey, they talk about their day, share their emotions, and sometimes reveal their secrets. So Cosmo gave you a set of calves. No, he forgot them at the cafe. I, I mean, I took him out to lunch to say thank you for last night, oh. and he was called off to a job, and he left them there. Can't put without amazing. his calves. I know. Ah. I've got to tell you though, I mean, what a nice bloke. He really helped us out last night. I know. That copper that picked up the bag snatcher. Danny Hill, isn't he huge? He's massive. You know, he tra well, he trains every day. Yeah. His hero is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, he looks like him, but that poor little bag snatcher, you could see the, the little tears appearing in his eyes. He was wetting himself. Well, it serves him right. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you do it. Yeah, these are amazing too. So, you know how they work? Well, of course I do. Cosmo used to practice on me since I was a kid. Show me. All right. You right? Yeah, what do you I'll want? I'll do a Cosmo on you. All right, where do you want? All right, okay. Um, up against the wall. Right. Come on. All right. Move over. Put your head against down. Right. Ah, right. Spread your legs. Spread Ow. your legs. Ooh. Right. Right apart. Right, right up. Okay. Hey. Put your wrists behind your back. All right. Face your wrists. No, the other way. Right. Ow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. You're Ooh. under arrest. Oh. They're amazing, huh? They're pretty cool. Stay there. Ah. Legs. Ah. Woo! Ah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's kind of strangely arousing, Pop. Oh, you're a sick man. Oh, ow. Ah! Mike Orson Well Cortez. Let's read that review and hear it again. Come on. Orson or awesome? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. You ready? One more time. A failure in the nick of time is the heading. Ready? Suburban diva Tiffany May Parker proved to be a runaway success as a busty Ophelia in the Billy River production of The Great Dane based on Hamlet. Playing opposite Steve Caldor, a strong Hamlet, oh, was Tiffany, Hamlet? Was right. Tiffany was a last minute ring-in who was expecting to do the box office but landed up in the leading lady's shoes. <laughs> this modernised version, Baz Lohman meets Edward <laughs> Albee. <laughs> He's a playwright. Oh, okay. Anyway, there was a tour de force that at once was absurd and delightful. Oh. Producer, director Mike Cortez, who oh. also played Polonius <laughs> and the ghost skillfully, rose petals fell from the stage as he and she took their final oh. vows. <laughs> Mike, oh, that was a moment, that, wasn't it? It was beautiful. I just one of those things that you wait thing for. Was brilliant. Oh, did you like that? I'm so looking forward to doing it this weekend again. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think it's going to be brilliant. Oh, and, well, anyway, the point about it is you're now going to have to do a whole lot of sort of radio interviews. You're going to have promotional stuff. So. Oh, yeah, it's mate. The press is going to go. Mike. press will go mad with that performance, mate. Oh, Poppy, wish? Poppy. Yes? I've got a proposition for you. Oh. Now look, our agency's just snagged two commercials, mm -hmm. and I just spoke to our makeup artist, Greta, and her assistant's away doing other work. And we were wondering, because I know you're fantastic with makeup, if you'd come and work for us for a couple of weeks. Oh, David, that would be fantastic. I would you really sure? love it. I, I mean, it's not it. the most glamorous job and doesn't pay that oh, well. It but doesn't matter at the moment, any work I need. Has Dave had paid you back that $200 yet? No, he hasn't said anything. Has he said anything to you? No, he hasn't. Well, I tell you what, if he doesn't, we're going to have to, we're going to, have, to go and have a word with him, mate. Listen, mate, I tell you what, it's probably a bank problem. Give him a couple of days. If he hasn't done anything, then I'll talk to him, all I right? Know, all I know is it doesn't, you can go down to any bank and get some money. Look. Two days. All right, two days. I'll tell you what. Come on. Yeah. 
If they gave Waheed 21 months to try and get the country together as president, how long do you think they'll leave Megawati in? Oh, I mean, you know, who knows? I mean, really, I mean, who understands their politics anyway? I mean, he was a man, Waheed, who was put in place to navigate the country through, you know, through to its transition to democracy, mm -hmm. and all he's done in the last three days is to stabilise the place. Well, was he there when they were voting uh, this Megawati lady in? No, no, he was in the palace. That's well, where he's been. Sleeping and eating. Well, no, he's there. He's now, but he's now in the palace. He says he's not going to get out, which is only going to cause more problems. He's so, going to get out. Well, of I mean, course the, he'll go. Well, mad as a pacifist, he'll take pacifist? a couple of weeks. Why does he ask for a state of emergency? I mean, if he's a pacifist, he's not going to ask for that, is he? Because he's trying to hold on to his power base because he believes he's the one that can only bring peace. I mean, these are the same people that voted him in and put him into into power instead of Megawati only 21 months well, ago. I'm sorry, I don't get it. But the point is, all of a sudden, he wants to dissolve the major Indonesia's paramount decision-making body. You know which he can't do it's unconstitutional he's basically doing all these things that are you know unconstitutional and and legally are, are incorrect it's just absolutely reckless speaking of whitey ladies uh, is a she supports the military right mm -hmm. and she's a real nationalist flag waving indonesian nationalist and it's a bit dangerous don't you think do you think there may have been a civil war Head of police. Oh. Oh, they're fantastic. Cool, eh? It's the cop thing, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's all the cop shows you've ever watched. It's so kind of great. Oh. Did they hurt? Oh, yeah. Right oh, you top. put them on? Yeah, Poppy did it. They, oh. Come on. Give some. Oh, all right, go on. No, but be careful, don't hurt me. Your neck, sunshine. Oh, no. I was You're going down in a bit. No, no, like, no, I was just cruising for some boots. Well, cruising for boots, I'll tell you for why you're going down, son. <laughs> Not on my oh, no. no one does that, all right? You're going down in a big house and you're going to spend a long, long time with some very ugly individuals. Oh, you're very good at that, Nolan. Yeah, I, I want to do it. Gee, they do hurt, don't they? Yeah, hang on. Oh, hang on. I think they're a bit tight. Yeah, hang on. Oh, can you just loosen it up a bit? Mm. Just take it off. Oh. What? Oh. Uh, what? Um, no, Nolly. No, the key won't turn up. What? No, the key won't. Oh. 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 Um, um, it just... It, no, no, don't. No, don't. stop it. Don't. What? I think they're broken. Oh, I think... Oh, they're broken. Oh. Uh, uh, Bobby! Oh, yeah. Yeah. The handcuffs are safe with the cosmo. I've almost got him in, mate. Come on, just what? quiet. So. Wait a minute. Really? You could be oh, publicly charged. Oh, no, don't you worry about that. No, they're, they're absolutely Poppy, safe. Poppy, uh, Poppy, you've got a hammer. Uh, cosmo, hypothetically, if someone, you know, did get stuck wearing the handcuffs, what would we need to do to get them off? A hacksaw. Okay. Uh, all right. Arrested another person? Oh no, 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 not at all. No, we haven't um, arrested anyone. Not Stop really. Stop bloody moving. Just try and keep still. Sure. Yes, I'll keep them absolutely safe. I'll, I'll get them back to you tomorrow. Bye. Bloody thing. No, it doesn't work. Oh, it's bent. This is ridiculous. Hey, Pammy. I reckon Michael Klim's been sniffing too much chlorine. Why? Well, he's suggesting that Ian Thorpe is a better swimmer than Dawn Fraser. That's because he loves him. He kisses him every time <laughs> they finish a race. Well, that's ridiculous. This guy says it's like um, comparing Mark, saying that Mark War is a better batsman than Sir Donald Bradman because he scored 33 international centuries to the Don's 29. It's like and 14 of those won one day. It's ridiculous. You can't compare Thorpe and no. Dawn. For heaven's sake, Dawn did, well, three different games and she would have done four if she hadn't been disqualified. He's only, what, 18? Yeah, he's only 18 and she was 25. She, she said... won 27 individual records Jeez. and 12 relays. He's set 10 individual records and I think he's won something like four relays. Oh gosh. Well she set 14 world long course records to his 10. They'd be better off comparing him to Farlap. <laughs> 
butt, you know, the pump, the feet, you know. It's got size 20 feet, hasn't it? <laughs> Have some company, guys. It's a bit lonely up here. Set up a set up a roster system or something. It's like one after the other. Are you alright, son? So Yeah, I'm fine. was divine as a fear. Yeah, no. I've never seen anything <laughs> like it when she walked across singing rosemaries for remembrance, scattering those petals, and when she walked into the water and all you had was a long piece of blue material shimmering. I said to Daniela, that's theatre. Oh, yeah. How did you get that patterny effect on the water? Well, you use what is called a gobo which is a metal piece you put across the top of a pattern 21 and it shines it and it gives that effect of just floating magic. on the water. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. Tiffany, in that role as Ophelia, made Rosemuir Smith, who's our leading actress, who played Gertrude, look a bit silly, with a quiet firmness. That's the only nod she got, but Tiffany got the rave reviews. Well, she did. I tell you, if I hadn't have dressed her myself, I wouldn't have known it was Tiffany. <sighs> Penny, we, we've got a bit of a problem, though. And I don't know what to do about it. Celia, who was playing Ophelia, yeah. who got sick. Yeah. I've had a phone call from her. Uh -huh. She wants her role back this weekend. Well, she can't. Tiffany's playing it. She's got the reviews and she's a big hit. Yeah, but, mate, Celia's part of the Bratco players. But isn't she a part of the... Tiffany part of no, them now? She's... No, no, she's only by default. You see, Section 303A says that anyone who's been a member for more than five weeks has the right to any role. I can't go against that. What am I going to do? Well, you'll have to tell her the truth, Mike. You can't lead her on. Hey, Colin, listen, do you have a moment? I was going to ask you a question about Steph, something. Steph, this is not a good time. Look, I know, mate, but look, this will get mine off things, all right? Look, just really quickly, you know how Malin's father's staying with us, right? Right. And I, I can't read this guy's mind, you know, I don't know what if I'm doing anything right or wrong, and mm -hmm. I've just come across this article, right? Steph, Impress your ladies. Steph, Steph, can you just ditch my nose? Just, just, where? Top, just, uh, Oh, that's great. Okay, that's fine. All right, listen. Yeah. Impress your lady's parents. Oh, yeah. You, if you fail to successfully schmooze your girl's parents, you might as well lose her. Absolutely. Right? Now, listen. This, have impeccable manners. It's very right? important. Of course. Of I mean, course. I'm not a rude guy. Well, it's just that you would... You know, well, absolutely. But you wouldn't say, well, I don't know, whatever you do at home, you wouldn't pick your nose in front of them no, or something. No, of course or not. Or pick your ear or... No. Or picking anything, generally. Just don't right. pick. Stay away from picking. It's not good. Okay, so... Okay, well, got watch that. your mouth. Well, you don't swear much. Well, no, I don't. You do no. swear sometimes, certainly oh. after you listen to Eminem. But the point is, is that you shouldn't, you know, I mean, and don't ever, ever yeah. talk ever. about the, the, the sex you have with the daughter. You don't, don't you know, like a, I mean, no, I mean, as if I would. I mean, you know, like, no, I'm just saying, I'm gonna say, hey, thanks a lot for your daughter, mate. She's built brilliantly, you know, whatever. Steph, don't do that. I can tell you right now. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, what's up? Uh, well, can you? Your phone's right. Oh, hang on. Uh, where is it? Well, where is it? I'll get it. I'll get it. Where is it? No, no, no it's up. It's here. Can you just, okay. yeah, just yeah, say hello? Uh, just say, just hello. say hello, Colin Thompson. Hello. No, this isn't Colin Thompson. Um, oh, I've got it right here. Um, who's calling? Okay, hang on a moment. It's your life coach. Oh, God. Life coach? Um, Terry, um, uh, look, just, yeah, put him on. Hi, Terry, how are you? Yeah. Uh, no, look, can I, can I call you another time? It's, well, I know that it's important that we, we have a schedule that's, all right, well, yeah, go ahead. Well, I'm fine. Well, no, honestly, I'm, I'm standing here with a, a young man handcuffed to a pole. Yeah, let's talk later on. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Terry. See you later. Bye. Thanks. Life coach, eh? Can you pop that back in there? Yeah. yeah which one do you want? Well, up here, thanks. Okay, cool. Now, listen, um, do you need anything? Uh, yeah. you, want to, you want to drink the water, food, something? Oh, could you go to the toilet for me? I really need to have a wee. Come on, thanks, alright? Thanks. Thanks a lot for this. Great. Hey, Dave. 
Mm. Do you remember those discs that I downloaded from a boss's computer? Yeah, yeah I've got them on me. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Where'd you find them, mate? Well, I couldn't download them on my iBook because it's yeah. still being serviced, but I took them to work. Yeah. Mate, your company is being taken out by a bigger player. What does that mean to me? Well, they're merging. So, you've been brought in, right, as yeah. a hired gun to sack people, right? What? And what's going to happen is, is they're going to get rid of middle management. Yeah. And that's you, buddy. Hang on, I've got a, I've got a, my phone's gone. Look at this. Tick, tock, tick, tock. What I'm, is that? I don't know, I'm just getting these strange... Oh. Clear, oh, listen, listen, mate, you... I don't know what you're going to do here, but... Uh... So you're saying that, that they've hired me as like an axe man to get rid of people, so... Because they're, they're, they're selling the company? Yeah. I've got to get back at these guys. I can't let this happen. Yeah, well, you can. How? And you can make a lot of money out of it. How? Well, think about it. If they're being taken over by a yeah. bigger company, what's going to happen? What's going to go up? Well, the shares, don't they? Share price. Think about it. Strength Good up, Colin. It's Excellent. a long trip. Mm. Washing it down. No, I don't need any water, Pam. But you're dehydrated. No, no, I need something. No, I need something to absorb the liquid, Pam. Oh, I haven't got any dry biscuits. Bread. I ate my sandwiches. No, look, I've just got to get out of here. Now listen, listen. I'll tell you what. Mm. I'll give Simo a quick ring. Mm. He'll have his oxyacetylene equipment here in no time. We can just burn you off, mate. No, you know, mate. Problem. He's not going to cut through the calves with an oxyacetylene torch. It's not going to happen, Mike. Oh, oh the oxy. <laughs> Oh, terrific. Oh. oh, thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry. Uh, uh, that was really insensitive. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. In, in fact, you just... Mike, take that. Thank take you. it. Take right. it away. Um, Pammy, do you mind? No. Thanks. Is yeah. Kolsky. Don't do this. Just let me loosen your tie. Don't do this, please. You, you can't look after really yourself. You've got to let other people yeah, to look I'm after you. you please I'm just going to loosen your tie because I know how that really gets to I you by the end of the day. You. Just let me I know what you're going to do. That feels better, do. doesn't it? Oh, a little bit of air, doesn't that feel better? Pammy, fancy waking up with a crocodile across your chest. Happened to a guy in Queensland who went camping? That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> fancy waking up with the smell of its breath and mm. everything. Yeah. Uh, Tiff. Right. Tiff, um, we, we got a problem. What? I got a call from Celia who was going to play Ophelia and she's much better and she would like to therefore take her role on again this coming weekend. And as sort of producer and director, it's my right to have to let you know that we're going to have to let you go for that weekend because she's been a member of the company longer than you have. So I'm, I'm really sorry about that. And I, it's very hard for me to do this because you've been such a wonderful help. And um... I saved your ass last Friday night, Mike Cortez. Yeah, Don't yeah, I... you try and nobble me. They never did this to Shirley MacLaine when she came in for pyjama again, so don't you try and do it to my Tiff, Ophelia. Tiff, please. I ask people you to be reasonable are, about No, this. Mike. People are going to come and see me in as Ophelia. That's what the reviews are all about. It's about me. It's not about Celia wanting well, to be Ophelia. It's just, I'm she really, no, her rules. She I can't really do about it. that right last Friday when she was sick, and Saturday and Sunday. I am the star of the show. She isn't. I am not, not going to go on. If I'm the producer, I've got to be able to... Oh. Well, what? the Kyoto Protocol has finally been signed. And have we signed it? We were the last ones to sign it. Oh, that what? is appalling. <laughs> we were the last guys. Well, it says here, it's because it's... um. With the greenhouse gases and the global warming and everything, yeah. Australia, whose greenhouse gas emissions have risen 17.4% risen in the last decade, mm. so we're one of the worst. The Americans, who haven't signed it, by the way, are the worst. Yeah. They produce one quarter of all yeah, greenhouse gases. Wait a gases. second, they're talking about Hang 500 on. million Hang people on. there. Hang on. 
Um, we set out to obstruct the talks with demands for allowing nuclear power, unli unlimited use of tree planting to offset greenhouse emissions, and no panel penalties if the countries break the rules. So global warming just keeps on heating up? Well, with the Americans yeah. not signing anything, um, what's the point? Well, at least everybody else has come to the table. Mm. Yeah, but without the Americans signing it, they're still producing one quarter. That's all. It's going to become one third. As everyone else reduces theirs, mm. they're just going to go whoopee doo. Well, oh. let's face it, sooner or later they will have to face the problems yeah. of global Why? warming. I mean, the President of the United States, make, you know how Bush made his money? Oil. Oil, mm. right? Mm. So there's no way on God's green earth, mm. uh, pardon the pun, he's going to turn around and say, we can't burn any more oil. But isn't that part of the solution? God's oh. green earth, having more trees, planting more trees. Yeah, well, yeah, you get points if you... Carbon like, credits. Or carbon credits, isn't it? yeah, yeah. if you plant trees. So they've... Well, they found someone they think could be him. Well, it answers the description of the same. He looks like the bloke. But and not the truck answers the same description. Mm. But I don't know that that's got the same number plates. Well, it's got Northern Territory plates. That's what we know. But where, so did they they where did they find the truck? In Tempe, in yeah. Sydney. Which is in the city area of Sydney, yeah. But holding him at the Cogra police station, mm. questioning him oh. on, on a warrant for other offences. Yeah, he could have been pulled over some traffic thing he'd had for but years. But why would you drive to a big city? I mean... Well, it, I think he's to get lost in the populace, you know, oh, become goodness. sort of inconspicuous. Because they said they had roadblocks mm -hmm. throughout the Northern mm -hmm. Territory and then mm -hmm. they said they'd let them go yeah. and that would flush him out. Flush, but, no, that's oh, flush. sorry, oh, Colin. No, it's just a flush Look, thing. Look, I'm going to fix this. Terrible. I, this is ridiculous. But listen, mate, listen, you're going to be in trouble. No, wait a minute, we're going to be in a real trouble here. In the army. Right. Yeah when I was there, yeah. amputees who yeah. had your problem, we used to look after each other. Right. So look, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you'd like, I can actually just give you a bit of a quick hand with... Mike. No? No. No hand. Okay. Hello, Shane, darling, it's Mum. Yes, darling, I'm on the train. I wanted... Can you help me? Well, we've got a friend on the train who... Well, actually, to cut a long story short, do you have anybody, a mate or someone who, um... Might be good with locks. An expert. Oh, great, love. Well, can you ring him? Well, get him to pick you up and, darling, meet me at the station on the platform. Thanks, darling. Oh, Shane, how will I recognise him? Oh, there he is. Shane! Shane. Oh, oh my gosh. Here we are. Oh. Oh. Thanks for coming, darling. Beast, uh, Beast, my mum. Yeah. There you go. How do you do, Mr. Beast? Oh. This is our problem here. Um, yeah. Can we um, get on to this? Yeah, yeah sorry. No, it's just that it's a little bit urgent. Yeah. Have a nice day, darling. Yeah, it's alright. Can oh. you eat something? Oh, yes, oh, oh fantastic. That was quick. Oh. Oh. Thank you. There you go, puppy. Good. Oh, good. Right. Thank you very much, Mr. Beast. Yeah, right, right Mum. Come on. Come on. Oh. Attention, please. Attention, please. In today, I'll announce the departure of the 806 from Fenton Terminus. No, 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 don't leave it! Going home again tomorrow night at 7.30.